Hello and welcome. I am Kain and you are watching Big News 24/7 English. India has launched Operation Ajay to help Indians wanting to return home due to the recent attacks on Israeli town by Hamas militants, escalating tensions in the area. As many as 212 Indian nationals from Israel arrived at the Delhi airport early this morning on the special charter flight. India has launched Operation Ajay to bring back its citizens from Israel, where a war is raging between Israel and Hamas. On Friday, the first flight of 212 Indians landed in Delhi, where they were welcomed by Union Minister Rajiv Chandra Sekhar. He praised Prime Minister Modi and External Affairs Minister Jai Shankar for their efforts to ensure the safety of Indians in Israel. He also interacted with the students who were among the passengers. The Indian who returned expressed their gratitude to the Indian government and hoped for peace in the region. They said they faced a difficult situation in Israel due to the conflict. The Indian ambassador to Israel, Sanjeev Singla, said that the embassy was working continuously to help the Indians who wanted to come back. He said that another flight would take off on Saturday with more passengers. He urged the Indians in Israel to stay calm and follow the local safety advisers. The External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bakchi said that Operation Ajay was announced by Jai Shankar on Thursday and that there were no Indian casualties so far. He said that around 18,000 Indians were in Israel and that the ministry was keeping a close watch on the situation. He advised the Indians to follow the advisories issued by the embassy. The embassy has also set up a helpline for Indian citizens to need of assistance. Operation Ajay was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to bring back around 18,000 Indians in Israel. Registration of Indians began on Thursday. The Indian embassy in Israel is providing assistance to Indian companies and has set up a helpline for Indian citizens in need of assistance. The MEA had set up a 24-hour control room in view of the escalating conflict. The control room will help monitor the situation and provide information and assistance. Earlier, the External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar chaired a meeting to review preparations for Operation Ajay. Let's listen to the experiences of returning Indians from. We thank Government of India. So we were at the airport, and then embassy and government of India people, ambassador of India was there. बहुत ही quick process था और बहुत ही smooth और excellent process था. It's obviously a difficult time for uh, all those uh, people in Israel uh, who have been dragged into this conflict. Um, innocent people, as you know, today is the first flight uh, of Operation Vijay, and this is completely in keeping with our Prime Minister's vision. Prime Minister's determination that our government, his government, will never leave any Indian behind. Any Indian anywhere in the world that finds himself or herself in harm's way, our government, our Prime Minister, is determined to protect them, bring them back home safely. And I'm very glad the this plane load of students and Indians have managed to fly back safely. And I think, uh, in a lot of ways, uh, we are deeply grateful to our Prime Minister. and of course everybody involved the minister jay shankar the team at the external affairs ministry the flight crew of the air india flight uh, for making this possible for bringing our children back home safely and soundly and back home to their loved ones and this is certainly something that is a signature of our government that we leave no indian behind in harm's way so in message for the uh, those who are there and they want to come back any message from the indian no no uh, stay calm uh, uh, stay calm be in touch with the emb embassy there uh, because the government of india will uh, certainly make all the efforts that are necessary to bring you back home safe and to reunite you with their, your families this is uh, something that our government has done repeatedly uh, will always do every time that an indian finds himself in harm's way our government will step up and uh, do whatever is necessary to bring them back home safely on first day uh, actually we were sleeping and at around 6:30 there was a siren so uh, because we 
they didn't hear in two years. We didn't experience that much of chaos. So we run to shelter, and with him, it's very hard. But we manage. But I guess we live in shelter for two hours because under the uh, siren. But after that, we were okay <laughs> there. <laughs> so how are you feeling now after coming back here? Are you relieved? Yeah, we are so relaxed, and we thanks government of India and like our prime minister and every minister to support us to come back. Thanks to everyone. <laughs> No, we were not expecting. We were expecting a little bit. I mean, you know, in Israel there are fights, but we were not expecting something like this big. But this is big. Like first time in last three years, I saw something like which is going to happen. Like it looks like it's going to happen big war, because a lot of military is moving in the north and also in the south. We can see it. So can you tell us about your evacuation and uh, how was it? It was very nice. Our university arranged the bus, so we were at the airport, and then embassy and government of India people, ambassador of India was there. He received us and we came to the fight. Everything was nice. Indian embassy, sir, you have contacted her. Did you tell her that you have helped me? Sir, how was it? Pura process. It was a very quick process, tha aur smooth and very smooth and excellent process. Did you have your daughter with you? Was it difficult for you? Was it difficult for you? Yes, it was a little difficult for you. 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 Yes, सबको पता है कि कैसे आपको टैकल करना है। बहुत खुश हैं। It all went on good, so there was no problem as such. But it is, it is we have to be careful because something big happening. But it all went very good, no problem. So how was the last three four days? Like how did you cope up? Yeah, it's tense. Situation is very tense. But now it is there. We have to face it.